we can do with a second challenger. Would you come in and sign in, please? Hazel? Williams, right? <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs. Williams? Mrs. Williams. And where are you from, Mrs. Williams? Bangor, Maine. Bangor, Maine. Down Maine. Down Maine, the suburb. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Mrs. Williams, may I present the panel? Panel? Thank you. Will you join me over here, please? Mrs. Williams, do you know how we keep score? Yes. All right, if you know how we keep score, we'll tell everybody except my friends over there. Panel across the stage, just exactly what your line is. panel, Mrs. Williams is salaried, and uh, let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Mrs. Williams, do you work for a profit-making organization? No. Oh, one down a mind to go, Mr. <laughs> Sir. Uh, Mrs. Williams, are you connected in any governmental way, whatever, with any kind of governmental agency, local or state or national? Yes. You are. Well, since we already had one national one, I'm going to rule that out. Is it other than a national agency? Yes. Is it other than a state agency? No. No. That's two down a date to go, Miss Fred. Is there ever a, a time that a product could be associated with what you do, Mr. Williams? Yes. Uh, do you have... Um, is this product something that all of us are familiar with? Yes, indeed. Is it something that uh, might be in the home? Oh, yes. Uh, would I have one in my home, do you think? No doubt you would have. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice for me, huh? Yes. <laughs> now, that isn't a man. It's a... Um... <laughs> That's not an insult, is it, Arlie? No. <laughs> she means she's got one already. I've got a man already, and the government didn't supply him. Uh, does it have any moving parts? No. <laughs> I was still thinking about a man, obviously. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Gable. Was this product ever alive? Yes. Yes. Does it... Uh, come from the sea rather than the earth? Yes. Uh, Maine is one of our great coastal states. Have you anything to do with the fish industry? Yes. Uh, is your work more often outdoors than indoors? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, since you work for the state, do you have anything to do with giving people permission to fish or uh, conserving the fish in any no. way. Five down and five no. to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Williams, have you got anything to do with the hatching of fish or of uh, stocking, uh, stocking, really? uh, <laughs> the fish hatcheries, dear Arlene? No. <laughs> Lobsters or something. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Only eight to five, he doesn't know what a fish hatcher is. Fish hatch up and down. Do you have anything to do with the inspection of fish? Would you be a, an appointed inspector? John is looking like one of the fish right now. I beg your pardon, Mr. You were going... Yes, I think we would have to say that that's... Um, what was the question again? <laughs> the question, are you in any way uh, appointed a fish inspector? And we would have to say, yes. As a matter of fact, I think it would be a little bit unfair to chase them all the way down the street because you have got the basic occupation. Uh, Mrs. Williams is a fish inspector, more particularly a sardine taster. I mean, she is, works for the state of Maine and tastes 150 sardines a day. To find out if they're good. Quality control. Yeah, quality control because the state of Maine is very fussy about the quality of the sardines that well, go into the Well, what about poor Mrs. Williams? Don't you ever get sick? Oh, no. Goodness gracious. Sardines are good for you. Oh. Especially Maine <laughs> sardines. <laughs> Mrs. 
Now, she'd test them for flavor, taste, odor, oh, etc. Oh, I see. see Miss Kelgallen? I just love sardines, but I was just wondering, after the 149th, how can you tell? The it sardines could, tell her. It could be a... <laughs> shall we say? You see, in taste testing, we don't actually swallow all those sardines. Oh, it's like tea tasting. Yes, we taste them, and... Then we give them a grade, and it's a state law that all the main sardine factories have to send samples to our laboratory for analysis. And you see, we check them for taste and odor and weight. And how they look at the other cans. things. I ask you one question, Mr. William. What is your record number of sardines you have ever tasted in one day? It probably would be very close to three or four hundred. In a single day? Yes. How right. did you get into this? <laughs> <laughs> She wanted to be on What's My Life. The state of Maine had a uh, special examination for tasters and, of course, a written uh, test. And out of this examination, they were able to pick people that uh, were sensitive to various tastes and odors and flavors and so forth. Oh, fascinating. Mm-hmm. Was it a blindfold test? Practically, yes. We had to identify different odors and flavors. It's a very fishy story. <laughs> <laughs> no, better. Well, I must say, Mrs. Williams, that was... I'm proud of the panel because yours was a very uh, difficult occupation, but I think they came close enough to say that they did get it. Yes, they did quite And enough. we will look upon our sardines with much more respect in the future, knowing they've come through your gentle hand. <laughs> Thanks very much for being our guest. Nice to you. And now we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor.